In this quick video, I'd just like to show you the new black and white toning plugin. And this is now on version two. It's an update from the previous version and we've now added a two extra sepia options as well as changing the FMS algorithm so it creates a more realistic look. It's slightly closer now. And along the bottom we've got four independent adjustment layers. And we can use these to create empty adjustment layers and these will allow you to then further fine tune the images quite easily. So to apply a tone to an image it's extremely simple. All we do is choose from one of the options and then we select this by pressing the button. So in this case I'm going to choose sepia 3. It creates the tone on a separate layer. We can adjust the strength of the tone by increasing or decreasing the slider. If we don't like that tone and we want to see another one, we can simply go to one of the other tones to actually see how that's going to look. We've got the standard brown tone and we've also got the very popular platinum tone, which a lot of people seem to like. And then we've got the FMS tone, which is the Frank Meadow Spencer. So for the Frank Meadow Spencer one, I've actually taken this photograph from one of his books that I've got and I've duplicated it and I've simply removed the colour. So I'm going to apply the FMS tone and that's the FMS tone applied and that's the original one that I've taken from the book. So the algorithm has been tweaked slightly to try and get a little bit closer to the original tone but one must realise that it's not 100% science when we're dealing with the Frank Meadow Spencer tone simply because there are a lot of photographs out there all portraying a similar tone and there doesn't seem to be any consistency across the board. So I'm just using the ones which are found in one of his books that I've got to try and replicate that particular tone. If you like this tone as a starting point, then that's why these have been added and these can be applied to any of the above filters or tone options as well. So we could simply create a hue saturation layer which places it above the target tone and then using the options found inside of these traditional adjustment layers, we could change the overall look and feel of the tone. So if you don't like these out of the box, use them as a starting point and you can fine tweak them using the adjustment layers at the bottom. So just like the other plugins that we're using now, they come with the traditional preferences window where we can change the accent color and the Photoshop theme. And now we can automatically check for updates should any new updates be released. So that's the new version 2 of the black and white toning plugin. Thank you for watching and bye for now.